So, Joe, Dead Space 2. You beat it, I beat it. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about the ending. Let's talk about the ending. So, how'd you feel? About the ending specifically. Well, I mean, I'm interested in how you're feeling today and as a person, <laughs> but specifically for this, I'm interested in how you felt when you were uh, seeing the conclusion of the game. It's one of those things where I was actually really satisfied by it in the moment, and then sort of realized, like, after I was like, wow, I love that part when weird, like, mental zombie Nicole, like, tries to stab Isaac in the face or something. Thank you, Isaac. Now, time to die. What? When I started to piece it together, it's like, okay, now why was that happening? What were... Why were we in Isaac's mind? And why did killing the marker in his mind... Like, in, in the immediate, like, few minutes after after beating it, I realized that I didn't have a lot of, like, concrete information as to, like, why exactly things were happening the way they were. So it actually took, like, for me, it took a second playthrough of the final chapter, and then also some, you know, spending a fair bit of time on, like, the Dead Space wiki. Oh, boy, that to sort helpful. Of, oh, man. Yeah. There's a huge oh moment God. later on in the game where Isaac enters the, um, the military sector, the government sector, and mm. sees the gigantic marker which he was responsible for and all the necromorphs swarming around it. What? What are they doing? Uh, Nicole leads Isaac to um, what is just referred to as the eye machine. I was in the same boat. I didn't understand why he had to do that the first time, um, but then you learn that it unlocked the memories of the marker that they're trying to keep, like, him from accessing so that yeah. he couldn't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. um, and then he actually had to be pulled into his own mind because what Nicole ended up doing the entire time from what my, my understanding is is that she was trying to unify Isaac with the marker so it could become complete. And that's what why she needed him to unlock that part of his mind. And it was also incidentally the only way that he could combat the, uh, the marker's influence inside of his head. Yeah, but there's, there's also some sort of weird thread that ties, like, that ties Isaac's mental state to the marker itself. Because like, not only is I, like, Isaac fighting kind of in his own mind, but when he beats the marker, that results in the actual physical marker falling apart. Yeah, because that's something that we would not be led to believe could happen based off the first game or anything that happened prior. That's probably like, I understand there's a lot of weird spiritual stuff happening in the game, mm -hmm. but that, in a, in a game where, you know, necromorphs exist and zombie, space zombies exist, like, that was a little bit of a stretch to me, too. But, I mean, they do refer to Isaac as one of the makers. Right. right. So... Him and Strauss, right? Well, yeah, I'd, but see, even, even that's a little ambiguous. Like, right. whether or not it's just referring to Isaac's role as a maker of that particular marker, or if he has some sort of larger significance in, like, the Dead Space universe. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know, but it would seem to me that like there's got to be something about about it being the, the marker's like construction, like Isaac's role as someone who built that marker being somehow important to like maintaining its physical form or something. Which I mean, I don't know. The marker acts in mysterious ways, and that's I guess that's all we really get out of it. Right. But. We know that the unitologists are very interested in it, mm -hmm. um, and we know that from the post credits business that. Uh, there may be as many as 11 others or so. Nothing survived this, sir. Marker Site 12 is a total loss. Pity. Yeah, it's referred to as Site 12, right. but it's, it's also not necessarily referred to as the last one. Right. So there are at least 11 others. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you do with the boss fight? How long did it take you? Because I've talked to some folks, like I talked to Ben Reeves, um, and he said that it took him a while to find out that as you're shooting Nicole, um, or the, uh, you know, image of Nicole in your mind that uh, in the background, mm -hmm. the uh, the marker begins to open and exposes like that pulsating orange heart that you want to shoot at. And he said he didn't notice right away. Did, you, did that click for you right away? Yeah, I mean, I noticed right away. I just took my line gun and just started blasting away at it. Oh, that thing's amazing yeah. for the pack. Right before you uh, you enter your own mind and, and fight Nicole, I, this game is weird, as I'm mm -hmm. describing, the more and more I'm describing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there's a moment with um, Hans, the, uh, I said Tiedemann, you said it's, it's Tideman? I think it's, I thought it was Tideman. No, let's they, go with that. I mean, they say it over the intercom and stuff. Tideman sounds like a dumb name, so yeah. let's go with Tideman. But there's a moment where uh, he comes from the marker and half of his body's all scorched and, and he starts shooting you with the uh, javelin gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get it, and I didn't even know that this was, was possible, but uh, the first time I did it, I, he does the dramatic like behind his back thing and he's gonna deliver the final shot to uh, Tideman and yeah, yeah. I completely missed. So you pulled the trigger and you I, just you just weren't yeah. aimed at it. And, and Isaac just sort of just, hmm, 
oh, oh well, <laughs> and drops it and then just, I don't know, does his business See, with Nicole. For me, I, I had something kind of similar happen, whereas like, it took me too long to realize that that was an event that you could control. So like, I would, like, I had him, you know, sort of, he was like down on his knees and I, and Isaac sort of pulls the, pulls the gun or whatever and holds it. And I was like, I sat there staring at the screen as Isaac's just kind of like, eh. it just looked like a cutscene. Oh, yeah, I'm waiting for it to happen. I'm like, oh wait, I can do this. And, but by the time I realize it and start like moving the moving the stick around, it's too like I I, I don't get a chance to line my <laughs> shot up in time. And then the guy just falls over. So just like, Meh. so without even firing a shot, he just falls over dead. I'm just like, Meh. Isaac was probably really tired. Yeah, yeah. What did you think about the uh, the fake out ending where it, he finishes uh, destroying the marker and the whole place is coming down and he's just kind of sitting and, and it looks like it's just going to fade to uh, Isaac's impending demise? I like that. Yeah, I mean, was, would you've been cool if that was how it ended? There's a value to both different kinds of to both kinds of endings. I think. I mean, that one's that one's um, I don't like that one's cooler in terms of like a character like a character focused thing on Isaac, but it doesn't provide the kind of Resolution. Otherwise, those events would feel sort of like a cheap tack-on. If the, if Dead Space Three begins with like, oh, by the way, you're getting saved. You complete bastard. If Isaac's gonna continue as the central character of the series, like, you may as well have his survival assured rather than do the whole fake out that no one's gonna believe that he that he's dying on the stage. Right, and it, and it helps Ellie become an even more memorable character because in a series where. You know, arguably Isaac wasn't even really a character in the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, having a new strong character, and I thought Ellie was was pretty badass. You know, she lost her eye to uh, Strauss, and yeah. you know she came through and, and helped him out, and you know dramatically saved him. I think she's pretty cool. I would like to see her return in Dead Space Three. Yeah, maybe co-op, huh? That'd be pretty nice if they decide to do that. Mm. We'll see. Huh. It'd be hard to, to I mean, make I, it creepy, but well, I mean, I. Without getting too far into it, I mean, you, you could run into the same problem that like people had with Resident Evil Five in that case, and mm -hmm. that like, I mean, it's having another person there diminishes the sort of like scariness of it and like the threat. Yeah, so. absolutely. And they'd just be maybe ramped up to an action game, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing where the the story leads, and hopefully, it doesn't get as simple as each following Dead Space just becomes another quest to destroy a marker. Yeah, I'm sure th like. Visceral, there's a lot of very talented people there, and I'm sure that they can create some different dynamic that, that makes it more interesting. Maybe we'll see like the, uh, the hive mind queen thing come back in some capacity too, but um, I'm interested to see where it goes. Yeah, yeah me I, too. I was totally satisfied with the, uh, with the ending, and uh, I'm really looking forward to the third one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you jerk. Climactic. <laughs>